Welcome back to another episode of the Bolton RTG career mode here. Last episode, we went ahead and started the episode by drawing the first three games. We drew against Bolton or against Burton. We drew against Lane Orient. We drew against Stevenage. I played the Lane Orient game there. We beat Barnsley 3 0. We beat Fleetwood 3 0 on a tactical view cam. Today, we are going to start today by playing against Peterborough, who currently sits second in the league. They are only a point behind us at the moment. When we get to them, we'll see where they're at then. But they are definitely in the title race. They're definitely already well established in the automatic promotion race as well, being six points clear off a of third spot, Darby County. We did go ahead and make a signing last episode. He will come into January. Sebastian I. Biega, 31-year-old, 6'2 foot center back. He is from FC Dallas. He was current. He was at a USL team called San Antonio FC. He then went over to New York City, and now he's been residing all over the place in MLS. Kind of a backup player, more likely now. Actually, last season in the MLS, he was kind of their best defender all season long. So he will come into the team. He'll be a great backup option. He might even push toll somebody like toll maybe somebody like jones out of the starting 11 as well and starting about the starting 11 we have what is it 1.4 mil no we have 2 million there i definitely want to bring in a right midfielder i kind of want to bring in another cam as well we might have to go free agent market shopping but that won't be all the way into january all right, we're going to go ahead and quick in this game. Toll is out on international duty, and we lose 3-1 to Exeter City. Wow, that's a big upset. Peterborough also lose, though, as well to Carlisle United. So they still stay one point behind us going into this title racing match. Now with Derby County only three points behind him and only four points behind us. This this race is tight. This race is it's tight. It's really as tight as it can be between us and Peterborough, but it's tight at least within the top five. There's only six points slapped right in the top five. The first from fifth. Now, obviously, we did have a we did have a play now. Obviously, against Barnsley, we are gonna go ahead and put Ethan and Worry out on the right hand side. Williams on the left hand side. It's not actually gonna stay like that. Ethan and Worry is gonna go back to the Campbell. He's gonna go back on the right hand side because Toll is still out with international duty. So this is all pretty much gonna be swapped out. By the time we get into the game. So I guess I could switch it in-game. If I'm not lazy enough. Did it stay as it should? No, it did not. Who's starting? It's Taylor starting at center back. That is fair. I would assume it would be Jones. But I guess Taylor is higher rated. So here we go. Ethan Warrior on the right-hand side. Williams in the middle. We'll see how that goes. I know Ethan Warrior can't play on the right-hand side. Taylor, or not Taylor. Williams had a plus one at cam, so we'll see if he can do that role. Really, you got to see if Ethan Ward can play right-hand side, thinking about it now. And here comes Poku. This is a title race already. It's Wakeling. It's Wakeling in the box. It's a penalty, and Taylor getting the start instead of 12 on international duty, and he's going to commit a penalty in the first five minutes of the game and a yellow card to go with it. Mason Clark, I go right, he goes left. It's 1-0 for Peterborough. Out wide to Darcy's Cogley. Darcy's Cogley into Ethan Awar. Ethan Awar looking to turn off his defender. And Ethan Awar, that's a heavy touch. The defender's going to come in cross and get the ball back. Williams now slide tackling and won the ball back. Darcy's Cogley out wide to Ethan Awar. Ethan on the ground into Leah Byrne. And Miles Leah Byrne on his left foot. Saved by the keeper. Carried out and pushed out. Only as far as wide as Ogbetta. Now Morley. Now Ethan. Ethan into Williams. And Williams on his left foot. He has Leah Byrne. But he'll take it himself. And just like that, Bolton are back level here with Peterborough. Poku now. Randall. Poku. Out wide to Daly Campbell. Campbell now into Wakeling. Wakeling in the box. It's Randall. It's Darcy's Cogley, who honestly shouldn't be playing. I should be having Ramsey play, but I don't. But he comes up big again. Puts the ball out for a corner here. Still a dangerous situation here, though, for Peterborough United. Cross comes in. Taylor with the head away. Not fully cleared away, though. The shot's off target. It's out for a goal kick. Ethan Nwari. Darcy's Cogley. 
into Morley. Morley into Ethan. Ethan now will turn and Ethan will spin and Ethan will go. Another heavy touch, but this time Defender can't get there. Crossed in. I really, I didn't want to put that much power on it. I wanted to go to Learburn. We're going to go halftime though. 1-1 here against second place Peterborough United. Taylor giving away a sloppy, sloppy pen in the first six minutes. Into Darcy's Cogley. Darcy's Cogley into Ethan Warry. Ethan Warry has done well on the right hand side. He's done well everywhere. And he's going to get on the score sheet here. And Bolt and Wonders have the lead for the first time in this game. It comes early in the first half, second half here. And Ethan and Warry, the youngster, is doing it all here for Bolt and Wonders. Sheehan out wide to and Warry. Ethan and Warry has Collins there. He will find him. Collins can get past the defender, yes, to put the game to bed. Collins can't get it past the goalkeeper, and it's going to be a goal kick. Wakeling now in towards Burrows. Last opportunity here for Peterborough to try and rescue a point here. It's Collins to carry it out. Out wide to Ethan and Warry, the youngster doing it all. Ethan into Collins. And Collins to put the cherry on top. 3-1 for Bolton. And we go ahead and go four points clear. Off of Peterborough United at the top of the table. Now to switch gears. We have FA Cup action here against League 2 side Wrexham. They're obviously in League 1 following the start of next season. In real life, they're still in League 2 here. We're going to go with the same starting 11 with Toll back in the lineup. We're going to put Ethan Nwari back out on the right-hand side just because he did so good last time out. It's time to take on Wrexham here. Mendy down the left-hand side. Toll back in the starting 11. It's Young on the strike. It's off the post. It's still back, though, with Young. Blocked again, and it'll fall again. Once more for Young. It's Mendy now into Dolby and Baxter saves. Morley into Williams. Williams into Gomez. Gomez into Leah Byrne. And Leah Byrne near post saved. Morley. Ethan and Warry. Williams. Williams now at wide to Ethan and Warry. Ethan and Warry down the line into Miles Lieburn on the volley off the post into the back of the net and Miles Lieburn will go ahead and get Bolt in the lead here. 1 0. Ethan and Warry on the corner. Miles Lieburn saved by Howard and out for another corner here. And Morley on the corner. Miles Learburn on the header. That one will go wide and out for a goal kick. Williams, Ethan and Worry. Ethan and Worry to make it 2 0 for Bolton. We're in cruise control here against League Two side Wrexham. Into O'Connor. And O'Connor now. Amayato Santos there with the block. It's Mendez Gomes. Out wide to Ogbeta. And that's actually going to be halftime. 2-0 up here against Wrexham in the FA Cup. Marriott. Baxter can't get there. And Wrexham get one back. It's 2-1. Mendes Gomes into Miles Learburn. Miles Learburn saved by Howard and out for a corner. Trying to keep his team alive in this. Ethan and Warrior will come off for Sheehan. Not sure how that's going to work. A Sheehan playing on the right winger. It's an interesting dynamic, but it's one for sure. And now Morley crossed in. Can Leah Byrne get to the header? No. Mendez Gomes back out wide towards Morley. Back. No, no, never mind. That's outside the box. And no, Bechter. That's a terrible touch. Morley. Leah Byrne. Williams! Saved by Howard. Corner for Rex. For Bolton. Collins on for Leah Byrne. Sheehan on the corner. Santos gets up and Santos will put the game to bed. And Bolton are going to move on to the next round of the FA Cup. Vamos. And that will be game over. Bolton move on. What turned out to be a comfortable first half. Got a little shaky there in the second half. But we got that third goal to really put the game to bed. And a 3-1 win. And we'll move on to the next round of the FA Cup. Now, I know, I don't know if I said it this episode or the end of last episode, but I did mention that I wanted a right winger. 
And I forgot, we have one player in the Youth Academy, German Nicholas Simon. He is a right winger slash right back center back. He actually was a right back center back. We transitioned him to right winger. He went from a 52 to like a 61 there or 60 and then he grew to a 61 here. Um, we could bring him in, in all honesty. We could try him out for now. If he's not good enough, we could loan him out in January. And I think that's exactly what we do. The first Youth Academy player. Obviously, I'm not really using the Youth Academy too much. Once there is some youth players in the, se in the actual save, like three or four seasons, five seasons down the line, then obviously, yes, we our team probably will become a majority of youth players. Just, 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 just how it goes. So we'll bring him in. We'll try him out for the, for the rest of December. We'll see if he's good enough to be part of this team long term. If not, he'll get loaned out, and we'll just go look for somebody new. It's as simple as that. But right now, I can't really drop Williams, but I kind of have to because Simon is better, honestly. We're going to quick sim this game against Wakambe. A 2-2 two, two, two draw. Learburn and Williams on the score sheet. And here we go. We are going to move on and take on Northampton. Away from home. First look at me using the new right winger, the Youth Academy player, Simon. Simon. See how well he does. And Charles. Or is it Charles starting instead of Learburn, I think? Everybody else is unchanged and also Sheehan in the midfield instead of Tomlinson. And we might be down 1-0 already. It's Bowie on the score sheet. And we're down 1-0. Cross comes in off the free kick and Bowie has a second. It's 2-0 for Northampton in 10 minutes. Mendez Gomes is injured so we're not going to risk it. We'll bring Williams on as a left winger. Sheehan, Morley. Ethan and Warrior, he's in behind Ethan and Warrior. Maybe player of the season, definitely talks to player of the season for him. He's got to shoot that, not shoot the keeper though, to be honest. Simon, Ethan and Warrior into Williams, and Williams on the shot, Williams on the strike, it's 2-1, and we're right back in it here. Finally starting to grow into the game here. Koike. Into a pair. And a pair trying to double the lead right before halftime again. No, we're going to the break. Down 2-1 here against Northampton. And here comes Benito now. And Benito still with Benito. And Toll will get that back. Santos will find Pinnock. And Baxter with the save, keeping us alive. And Collins on for Simon. Benito. Leonard Obecta with the save. Collins now. First touch is looking to clear the ball. It's Williams. He'll lose it. It's Pinnock now. A Barry. Albermati Al Santos. Sheehan. Morley. Back to Collins. Into Charles. Charles now. Into Ethan and Warrior. Ethan and Warrior will get past one. Can he get past the goalkeeper? Yes, he can. And we are level here. It's 2 2. Ethan and Warrior, the youngster, will level things up once more. Maybe. Maybe a point for each. Maybe all three for Northampton here. Benito and Amiata Santos there with the defense. And it's going to be a point for each. That is a very unfortunate game. We got lucky to come out of here with the point, though, to be honest. So we'll take the point there. When we come back, we have Peterborough in the league, and then we'll finally get into the January trench window. We have Birmingham in the FA Cup, so we go up a league now. We, we started down the league, now we go up a league into the championship here against Birmingham. So we'll see how well we can do against them. More transfer window action there as well. Two million on the budget. We'll see what happens. Probably not much. But we're going to try and make much. Also, Mendez Gomes, real quick, is out injured for three months with a, a broken toe injury. And Ramsey was only out for five days with a bruised shoulder. So he's already back in action. So, yeah, we'll see y'all next episode, starting with Peterborough.